Um, I'm back with another tutorial and I'm really excited about this one because it's even faster than the last one. Um, let's see, in the past I brought you, oh thank you, thank you Rem. In the past I brought you um, the 30 minute infinity scarf pattern, the um, 30 minute fringe scarf pattern, and um, the one hour blanket pattern, all um, arm knitting patterns. And so today, I'm going to show you how to make a 20-minute arm knit infinity scarf. I made mine in about 15 minutes, um, but depending on the kind of yarn that you use, it might take a little bit longer. So I'll just say it'll take you about 20 minutes. Once you get the hang of it, obviously for your first scarf, it's going to take you longer than that. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you the um, yarn that I used for this scarf. And then I'm going to show you other options that you can purchase um, to make this scarf. And I think in total my scarf cost me $6. Actually a little bit less than that because I had a coupon as well. Um, each ball of yarn was on sale for $3. And it's a super thick, thick yarn. And I think it's supposed to be used for um, those loop scarves. I don't know if you've heard of those. but. Um, I can show you a picture of those as well. But anyway, I'm in love with this yarn, so I think I'm going to go snatch up as much as I can from the um, store that I buy my yarn from, which is AC Moore. All right, let's get started. And here it is. This is the scarf. And as you can see, it's just um, one loop. It wraps around just one time. Um, here is the seam. And this yarn is so soft. Let's see, where's the packaging? I have another one here in a really pretty color. Um, this color is called Olive Couture Jazz. And it only comes with 16 and a half yards. So if you want to make this scarf, you have to buy two balls of that yarn. And this is a number six super bulky yarn. The brand is Premier Yarns and you can go to the website premieryarns.com and probably purchase it there but I'll put some links down below where you can purchase this um, or you can go to your local AC Moore and find it there um, another yarn that you can use to make this is um, this is one of my favorite yarns for arm knitting it's the Lion Brand yarn Wool Ease Thick and Quick and this is in the color Linen um, this is one of my favorites. This is the first yarn that I used for arm knitting. And when you use this one, you have to double up on the yarn. So buy two balls of yarn, pull one strand from each ball, and knit with them at the same time as if you were using one strand. Um, that way it's fuller, it's nice and thick. Um, so, so the pattern for this scarf is you cast on six stitches onto your arm. If you're going to use this Woolies Thick and Quick um, yarn instead of the really thick stuff, then I recommend um, casting on, I would say 12 or 13 stitches at least. Um, it's not going to look the same as this really chunky one because it's going to be more of a loose knit. So it's going to be more floppy. So I recommend casting on 12, 13 14, even 15 stitches, that way um, it is nice and warm. Let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and use this um, green color that I bought. And so you're just going to pull the yarn out from the middle. So you have your strand, and as you can see, this is like a really thick yarn, but I just keep it balled up. So you're going to pull one strand for the scarf, you're only going to use one strand, and um, first thing we need to do is we're going to do the long tail cast on. So you want to start with a long tail. So I would say, uh, I don't know, two, two and a half feet. And now what you're going to do is make a slip knot. So you, either you can look up another video um, on how to make a slip knot, or if you can figure it out from the way I do it. 
So basically, you're just going to have it fall over your hand like that. And then I put the two ends together. I twist it. And then I grab the working yarn, which is the yarn that is pulling, uh, being pulled from the ball of yarn. And then I pull it through just like that. Um, hopefully I explained that good <laughs> or well. And then you're going to slide it right onto your arm. Tighten it up as tight as you can get it. And now what you have here is this is your working yarn. Okay, which is the one that's attached to the ball of yarn. And then this is your tail. So closer to me is the tail and further away is the working yarn. And now we're going to start to cast on. The slip knot does count as your first stitch. So there's one stitch and now we're going to cast on five more. What you're going to do is you're going to hold the working yarn in between or over your index finger and in between your index and middle finger like that. So then you're going to take um, the tail of the yarn and kind of grab it with your pinky and ring finger and then kind of wrap it around your thumb just like that. Hopefully that makes sense. I can do that again. So the working yarn is going to go in between your index and your ring, uh, your middle finger. And then um, you're going to take your pinky and your ring finger and grab onto that tail and then you're going to take your thumb and kind of wrap it around like that. Make sure this stays nice and tight. So now you have what looks kind of like a mess of yarn here. But then you're going to start casting on. You're going to take your hand, you're going to go under, over the back one, and under it and through that loop. Let me do that again. So there's two stitches. Again, you're going to take your hand, go under this one here. So it's going to be kind of hard with this bigger yarn to do this. So go under that one. And then this one in the back, you're going to go under it, that, and through that loop. And then pull it nice and, nice and tight. So now you have three stitches. And we're going to do that again. Go under that one over the one in the back and then under it and through that loop. There's four. Let's do that again. Under the one in the front, over the one in the back and then under it and through that loop. One, two, three, four, five. One more. All right. So now we have our six stitches. You could do four or five stitches if you wanted to. Um, it just, it's all personal preference, however uh, wide you want the scarf. So now we're going to start knitting or arm knitting. So what you want to do is hold that working yarn. Keep your tail out of the way because you're not going to be using that for the rest of the scarf. So now we're just going to be using the working yarn. So you want to hold the working yarn in your right hand at this point and you're going to take that first stitch and it might be kind of hard to get this first row off of your hand but you're going to pull it over your hand and off your hand and then still hold, holding on to that working yarn you pull it over that working yarn so now you have this new loop here so then you're going to turn this loop towards yourself and then put your left hand through and then this first stitch is always the hardest one to tighten because you're going to pull on it and it's not really going to tighten up. It's just going to kind of move things around. So what you want to do is hold on to that working yarn and then take this knot here and just push it up. Keep doing that until it's nice and snug. Okay. And so now you're going to hold on to the working yarn again in your right hand. Pull that stitch over. So now you have this loop again. So you're going to turn it towards yourself and then put your left hand through. And then you're going to tighten it up. And again, hold on to that working yarn with your right hand. Pull the next stitch over and off of your left, uh, your right hand. 
I'm sorry, I meant you're going to hold this with your right hand. I don't know what I said, but anyway, take that next stitch, pull it over just like that. You have that loop again, turn it towards yourself, and then put your left hand through. And tighten that up as tight as you can. Okay. Next stitch. Pull it over and off your hand while holding on to that working yarn with your right hand. Turn it towards yourself and then put your left hand through that loop. Tighten it up. Next stitch. Pull it off your hand over that working yarn. So now you have that loop there. Turn it towards yourself and put your left hand through. Tighten it up. And your last stitch. Turn it towards yourself and put your left hand through. So, as you can see, we have our first row. Okay, so now we're going to move the stitches that are on your left hand over to or your arm and then over. All right guys, so my camera just died, so I had to um, charge the battery. And now we can continue. So the next step was to, or the last step that we just did was move that stitch over to the right arm. And we have the other five here. So what I was going to tell you was um, to tighten the first stitch, you want to push up on that knot and pull the working yarn at the same time. Okay, so now continue holding that working yarn with your left hand and then you're going to pull that next stitch over your hand and over the loop. Turn that towards yourself and put it on your right arm and tighten that up. Next stitch, pull it over, turn the yarn and put your hand through. Next stitch, Now, the reason that you are turning this loop towards your body is that it does actually change the look of the stitch if you turn it the other way. And I will show you that in another video. I'll be posting um, some more tutorials on different patterns, different stitches and everything. So, And there is your second row. So this is what it looks like so far. Now we're going to continue on to the next row. Of course, Rem has to be in the video. I'm going to sit there. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to do the next row, move it over to our left um, arm. And I want to try to hurry up so that my battery doesn't die again. So this time, hold the working yarn in your right hand. Pull that first stitch over. It's just like we did in the other on the other rows. No, no. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tighten that by moving the knot up and holding the working yarn. Next stitch. Pull it tight. Next stitch. Pull it tight. Stitch. Remember to turn it towards yourself and then put your hand through. Next stitch. Pull it tight. And last stitch. Okay, and then I will go ahead and finish it to um, the length that I want. And then um, I'll come back and show you how to end the scarf. Okay, so now we are at the end of our first ball of yarn. So I wanted to show you how I add on the second one, which it's very simple, but I do get this question a lot. So basically you're just gonna wanna find the other end inside of the other ball of yarn. Okay, and you're just gonna tie the ends together. Try not to use up too much of the yarn, especially with these balls of yarn because there really isn't much there. So you're just going to tie the ends in a simple knot, basic knot. 
and then what I do to make sure it's secure is I pull on those ends and then I pull on the other ends and I pull it really tight so it's not going to uh, come undone. And then at the end you can just cut these, trim them back. Okay, so, so far this is what I have. And what I do while I'm arm knitting is I keep tugging on this because it will get kind of bunched up. So I just tug on it a little bit and uh, straighten it out and it makes it a little bit longer. So I'm going to continue um, with the rest of this ball of yarn and then I will come back and show you how to end the scarf. Okay, so as you can see, we are just about out of yarn here. So um, you want to make sure you leave enough yarn um, to end the scarf. And to end the scarf, we have to um, do something that is called bind off. So you want to have enough yarn to do that last row. Um, so hopefully I have enough there. All right, so this is what I have. This is the knot that we made, but I'll trim that um, and make it look nicer. So to bind off or to end your scarf, um, I ended up with mine being on my left arm. You might do one less row if you want and end it on your right arm. But um, in my situation, it's on my left arm. So you're gonna hold the working yarn in your left hand and you're gonna keep arm knitting. You're gonna knit this first stitch, tighten it up a little bit, and then you're gonna knit the second stitch, move it over, Okay. And at this point you're going to drop the working yarn and you are going to take that first stitch that you knitted and you're going to pull it over the second one and off of your hand. And then you're just going to tighten that up a little bit. Not too much though. So again, now you're left with one stitch over here. So you're going to knit the next stitch onto your right arm. Okay, let go of the working yarn and pull that first stitch over the second one and off of your hand and then tighten it up just a little bit. Again, knit the next one, pull the first one over the second one, tighten it up and as you can see here it's ending the scarf. Okay, hold the working yarn and knit the next stitch. Tighten that just a little bit. Pull that first one over the second one and off of your hand. Tighten it up a little bit. And knit the last stitch. Pull that first one over the last one. Off of your hand. And now you have this one last loop here. So, what I do with my last loop, I had just the right amount of yarn too so that I can sew up the ends. So what I like to do with this last loop to make sure my scarf is secure and it'll never come apart, I grab it with that hand and I pull that last stitch over like that, kind of tighten it up a little bit, and then I do it one more time so it kind of makes two knots there. And then just pull it as tight as you can while pushing that knot down. Um, what you do is you pull that all the way through. Okay, pull that through like that and tighten it up as much as you can. Okay, and there's the end of your scarf. So now what we're going to do is we're going to sew these two ends together. So let me turn the camera around and show you how to do that. Okay, so what we're going to do is if you can see on this scarf we have this seam here. Let me turn it inside out show you. This is what it looks like inside out. You could actually wear it this way too if you wanted to. Um, this is the seam right across here. So we're going to do that on this green scarf. Sew the ends together. So what you want to do is kind of flip your scarf inside out and put the two ends together. What I'm going to use is just a crochet hook. Um, you can just use your fingers if you wanted to, but it seemed to be easier um, with a crochet hook. You could also use a safety pin, just connect it to the end and do it that way. So 
So you want to start as close to the edge as possible. What I'm going to do is stick it through this first stitch here. So I'm going to put my crochet hook through and then I'm also going to put it through this hole here. Take my yarn. Um, let's see. It's, I'm kind of at a weird angle here. And pull that through. And again, you're going to find your next stitch. I'm going to put it through here and here. And you're going to pull that through. Pull it all the way through. Okay. Kind of tug on it every now and then to stretch it out. But it's just like that. I'm putting it through these two stitches. You don't have to be too picky with it, but put it through those two stitches. And then I'm going to put it through here like that. And then grab it. Pull it through. I think this is the most time consuming part of the scarf is sewing the ends together. But once you get the hang of it, it's pretty simple. And just keep going. I think I have like two more that I can do. Keep going until you get to the end of the scarf. And then what I like to do to end it, let's see. Kind of make another loop there. I don't know if you saw how I did that, but I'm just going to stick my needle through or my crochet hook. Wrap it around, pull it through, but don't pull it all the way through. You're going to make a loop here and you're going to pull that through like that, make another loop, and then pull it all the way through. Now push that knot down and tighten it up as much as you can, okay? Because if you just cut this end off here, then it might eventually come undone. So we're going to use the same crochet hook. And this is where a crochet hook really comes in handy when you're doing this project because you can um, weave the ends in nicely. So on the thickest part of the seam, you're going to just start finding different um, stitches that you can put this under so that you won't notice the um, yarn going through. And then you're going to grab that piece of yarn, wrap it around so it grabs onto it. And I'm holding onto it with my finger as well to keep it tight on the crochet hook. And you're just going to pull it through underneath all of those stitches. It's kind of hard with this big yarn. Pull it through all of those stitches. And then pull it all the way through. And then you want to make sure you pull that like that. And then we can cut that one off. Okay. And then you want to do the same thing to this one. Cut it off. And you're done. So now we'll flip it back the right way. And if you remember halfway through, we um, tied the second ball of yarn on. And that's why we have these two things right here. So make sure that is super tight. And then you can cut these off as close as you can without the knot ever coming undone. Okay, so that looks a little better. And there you have it. It's super warm. It's really soft. It's not itchy at all. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, 
I will be coming out with a couple more tutorials, so keep an eye out. Um, subscribe to my channel if you would like, and give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful and if you enjoyed the tutorial. And um, if you have any questions, please leave them below. And um, I guess I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.